What is my practice? Hmm. I'm definitely more solo. I'm a definitely solo artist. So this has been fun for me working with other people. My work right now, currently, is creating a blend of the different parts of my life through photography. Because painting takes a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time other than for this class and other classes that I get to paint in, what I do is I make double exposures through my little dingy foam camera. But I don't do it through the double exposure setting. So what I do is I shoot a roll of different parts of my life. A lot of, I'm working with some bands right now for their press photos and just kind of documenting their their vibe, their sounds, all the events that they do. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking it to work where I coach sailing or where I'm at the harbor fixing boats. And if something seems like it needs to be, like a, a photo needs to be taken of it, I'll take a photo on top of that roll. So what I have to do is literally, it's physical, you wait for the film to get wound back in and then as soon as it hits the last frame, you open it up real quick and then shut it closed and then it'll wind it back out. So it's a lot about chance. I've started out in my room against my parents' will. I did a few wall murals of myself uh, through social media. People saw that, wanted their room to look dope, got me to do their room. And then out of the bedroom, I started doing restaurants, kind of giving it you know, a cafe, a better vibe, um, that kind of stuff. And then this was my next project. And so around the corner, I have an octopus. And here we are now doing this. So right now at UC Santa Barbara I'm studying book arts in the College of Creative Studies and through that I'm doing a lot of printing on a printing press, uh, I do book binding, I also do a lot of drawing, illustration, uh, I do photography as well. Um, so essentially in this class I've built up the skill of painting which is not something that I have exactly um, practiced with very much before. That way I can have a more well-rounded interdisciplinary art skill and art practice. And I'm drawing in all of these uh, skills from book arts, from illustration, and putting that into my mural work. Because I'm an art major, so I may do a lot of different arts, like paintings, drawings, sculptures, also our class mirror. I do a lot of portraiture normally, but um, I also started a business with my friend called Tables to Die For, which also does tables and murals, so um, very similar to this. We work with clients to see what they want, um, like we do in this class, and then just paint it as big as we can. I mostly do murals, actually. Um, I started doing murals with my friend and we created a business uh, together sophomore year of college and it started out really small. We were just doing work for like friends and um, acquaintances, people that we knew that needed some artwork done. So we would do fences and die tables and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it just kind of developed into like a bigger thing. So I really like doing like large scale paintings. My art practice I would describe as an attempt to interpret the world in all of its you know, beautiful intricacies and, and a way of understanding the world because it is dirty and old and tired sometimes and I, I use painting, I use ceramics, I use photography and a lot of other mediums too. I like collage, I like printmaking. Um, to try to, you know, visualize how I see the world. Why did I take the class? I took the class because I always noticed the murals in IV and I thought it was really cool and when I found out that I had the chance to contribute to the paintings in the community I really wanted to and with classes at UCSB I think it's really rare to actually remember the classes that you took after you get your degree um, but with this class it's going to be really cool when I come back um, in how many years and see the mural that was the subject of this class. I was informed about the mural class by a couple of my friends that have taken it. 
and uh, kind of persuaded to take it with uh, my best friend who, who really wanted to take it. And we just heard really great things about it and have seen several murals around Isla Vista. I'm taking the class because it is not like any other art class at UCSB. And I want to leave my mark on IV physically, so this is a great way to do that. I took the mural class because I knew that we would be painting a mural somewhere in IV. And that idea really excited me because it allowed me to become part of the community um, and display my artwork where I live, which is a really exciting thing. Well, I saw it on the email and I needed a extra credit for my minor to be completed. And so, yeah, that's basically why I took it and I thought it would be really, really fun. Uh, why did I decide to take this class a second time? Um, honestly, because the instructor, Andrew Morrison, great instructor, um, very unconventional ways of teaching that are very effective. And also, I just love the environment. I love being able to work with different people. And I just love being out and about in Isla Vista and making that my classroom. I took the mural class because Andrew was my TA in Art 1A, and I really liked his philosophy about art, um, with about just going for it and not having hesitation. Well, I realized that not only was it really easy units, but also so much fun, and the fact that for once at UCSB you can make art and then see it wherever you know, whenever you wanted to see it. It didn't just get put away into a portfolio or taken off the wall. It, still there like to this day right now and yeah so the first mural I believe was oh I just got like information from my friends and they tell me like there has uh, interesting cars and so if you want you can like join us I want to take a class without the kind of lecture style I wanted to be able to throw some paint on a wall uh, really get a bunch of projects rolling it was a cool opportunity to get some designs on a wall that um, I wanted to see for a long time and I thought this would be a really good opportunity to do that and work with a team, which is, can be pretty challenging, but this was a really good way to learn how to work with more people. Um, because uh, I've never done with the uh, mirror before, and uh, I just did like a small painting or a small drawing, so I kind of uh, interesting in this, uh, like, to do huge things. I got involved in the class because I think there's a level of, of curiosity in seeing public art and seeing murals out there and, and wondering who made them. And uh, I saw that it was a class offered here as part of the art department and that seemed like something too good to be true. I originally took it because I had some art major friends who spoke highly of it. Um, I would consider myself a muralist before taking the class. So I was really eager that there was an opportunity to grow, to put my artwork here um, more tempor or not temporary, more permanently. Um, I'd recently had one of my works covered and so I knew that in Isla Vista, a place that I eventually will leave, it could be permanent and I can leave knowing that it'll be there forever. If you're, you'll never get an opportunity like this somewhere else if you don't have connections. So um, having the opportunity to take a class like this will definitely give you that taste of what it, it takes to work outdoors and um, getting the whole uh, hands-on experience. What is Isla Vista? I don't think I could give you a accurate answer to that. Isla Vista is just a community of friends and friends who become family. It's such a small place that um, it's really easy to get to know everyone and I think that art is a huge part of Isla Vista as well, which is why this class is so important. Isla Vista is a community. It's a small town made up of a bunch of different kinds of people. UCSB students, SBCC students, um, other various people from the community, but honestly all together we just form into like this weird little 
community that just gets each other. Like we all kind of have similar mindsets and we like to do similar things and it's, it's, a, it's a vibe for sure. Completely unique from any other communities that I've ever seen. Oh God, crazy. Um, unorthodox group of young adults who are all put in here with the idea of uh, education but um, it's a, definitely for me and other people that I've experienced it's a really crucial part of their growth and their development in their life so I think it's um, everyone kind of comes in from different places it's cultural um, party scene obviously beach combined so I think it's like a growth of people in this certain age group with uh, that all come together for educational purpose and hopefully leave with something like that. Isla Vista is a community um, of different kinds of people. You have students, you have business people, you have some families here. Uh, really it's what you make of it. Uh, a lot of people say it's a beach town so they go surfing, they just have a really chill time. Um, other people they really find their place in the community, um, they join organizations, they help uplift other people in the community. Um, essentially it's a place where you can really make your voice heard and be a part of a sort of family uh, community where you feel like you can get involved, fit in, and just really have a good time. I love this to the first thing that comes to mind, which might sound like super cliche or whatever, is like good times. Uh, I feel like it's always just, it's a bunch of young people living in a concentrated area right next to a college campus. So, you know, the good times roll. <laughs> In my head, Isla Vista is a little tiny town that's interconnected with Goleta, but kind of not. It's this town sort of filled with 18 to 22 year olds for the most part, and is run and lived by us, and um, a really tight knit community. There's a lot of people shoved into this little town, and it's what we call home. I think that people, as soon as they make that first mark, that's when, you know, the torture begins. Why are murals important in the community? I think that murals um, are underrated and they're so important because you do reach such a wide range of people. You reach the people who are artists and you reach the people who are walking to their house. So you get a much more diverse group of people looking at something and it's also where it's placed, you know, it has cultural references, it has a higher impact on more people. So you get to touch people that wouldn't necessarily walk into a gallery per se if it was their own will. So you kind of force people to be accountable, to recognize art, to consider what's happening, to kind of self-critique it and then move on if that's even like the short amount of effort or energy they think and put into it. I think murals in public art are really important because um, a lot of people aren't really that into art, but um, if it's in our community, on buildings, um, it's there for everyone to see and it's really everyone's artwork. It's owned by the community and um, I don't know, I think it's just really interesting to have all these really cool creative images on different buildings for people to um, like express themselves um, within their own community and for everyone to enjoy. I think that one way murals enrich the community um, is by, since we are kind of like a, we're, we're a town where people like to bike a lot, walk a lot, walk their dogs, go on walks are fun because we have amazing views with the ocean and the mountains on the other side. Um, since we're always out and about just kind of having these awesome just artworks to look at along the way are just like something that really just really brings attention and is a really good conversation starter and beautifies the neighborhood too, which is another great perk. Oh, I think art in general is just important for the community and therefore murals are important for the community. Um, art has been receiving a lot of low funding in the like present years in terms of educational funding and artists haven't been able to really get their work out into the public as much and I think murals are just a really great way to do that in terms of letting people see your work and they also just add a sort of like vibrancy and color and life to a community. I think whenever you see a mural or like those paintings on trash cans and like stuff like that it just kind of adds a brightness to your day and you notice it and you're like wow someone made that and someone put time and energy to that and that's just, I think that's so cool that 
people can take their own time out of their day to like make art for the community. I don't know, it'd be boring if everything just looked the same as all plain. And I think this really can be inspiring for people if they see something they like. I knew for sure that whenever um, I wanted to do something, I wanted it to be like very wave and like ocean focused because that's what I think about when I think of Isla Vista is for sure the ocean. So um, my original idea definitely had the wave that's on the side in it. And then when we collabed with uh, Megan and Rachel, we took their idea with the agave and then um, the houses on Ivy and we incorporated that along with the wave just to be as much um, like Santa Barbara Ivy specific as we could. I think, um, like I said before, this the teamwork aspect of this is really important for artists. I think that comes up a lot in, outside the art world, outside the university too, so it's really important to learn how to work as a team. So specifically, um, I'm going to talk about this mural specifically behind us where teamwork I think is essential, is we're doing this, this sunset sort of scene and there's a really... Um, detailed gradients from like yellow all the way up to blue and if I was by myself trying to do this gradient from like the yellow to the orange to the pink to the purple to the blue I wouldn't be able to get as nice of a blend and it would take me forever to go all the way across the wall and continue this sunset gradient and having um, teamwork going on it just speeds up the process number one. Teamwork. Lots of times like when you're working on art it's like a solo thing and you're just doing it by yourself but this class is like all about teamwork. I think a lot of people who work in art especially nowadays work by themselves kind of in a solo artist in a you know in their studio working alone which is what mainly I do as well so taking this has really been an opportunity for me to branch out and work with other people in a collaborative way that I don't think I really would have so that's pretty sick. Um, definitely teamwork I mean, it's not just your opinion that matters on how to paint something. It's everyone's own opinion put into one, so I definitely learned how to be collaborative with everyone, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it brings me to like uh, work in the group, and uh, rather than just work by yourself, you know, that's totally different. Teamwork, I think, is an essential role of any collaborative art form, especially in a class like that where you're working on a mural together along with maybe 20 other students. I definitely don't, I don't mind dull moments, but working with people, I tend to get them a little bit more riled up than they potentially would be. You know, 25 students staring at a wall. Usually what we do is we find a wall, figure out who owns the wall, talk to the people that own the wall. Usually it's more than one person, and usually more than one person has more than one idea for what they want for the wall. Uh, I think one of the biggest things I learned was how to work with a client, because that could be really difficult. Um, sometimes, you know, you have certain things that you want to do, but you also have to take into account that they're kind of the ones that are hiring you. So. Um, you know, you have to please them but and be flexible with your work, but also kind of stand your ground. Um, I think I've learned how to work with other people because, at least for me personally, a lot of times with my art, it's been a solitary thing. So just working with other people and getting different opinions, I've definitely learned how to deal with critiques and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I learned kind of the impact of larger scale art on the public, I guess? Well, you are learning a lot of very different things than a normal painting class or a normal drawing class. I mean, you're dealing with really, really big scales. I think I learned a lot about uh, how to do the sketch first, then how to add the color and go to uh, just get the sketch first, then like teamwork to do the, this uh, whole mural. Yeah, I think I learned a lot and also the progress, like you know, the how to make the um, from the from for like the the Japanese restaurant. Because that time is my first time to uh, touch about the mirror, so maybe for the spring quarter I learned something about 
the skills for the mirrors? The thing I learned is that the importance of just like getting things done, like there's a deadline you have to meet, you just gotta power through and do everything you can to reach it. Why did I incorporate raccoons into my original sketch? Um, because ever since I've been here, and it's my third year here now, uh, raccoons have been a big part of like the kind of underground student life. Everyone loves the raccoons. They're seen all over campus, and they're kind of like our unofficial mascot of Isla Vista and UCSB. Why is this class important? Well, it's important because it gives back to the community. It um, brightens up everywhere really um, when you're walking down the street and you see a mural I literally hear people all the time saying how beautiful it is and how vibrant it makes the the community and the little town that we all live in um, and it's great to hear I hear that a lot about um, one of the pieces that we did in the class last year and it was the octopus piece that's on Trigo so it's really exciting to um, just see people's reactions to it Okay, so the previous um, mural was octopus and how did that develop? Uh, as my first time taking the class, I presented a sketch which was required. Um, there was another female in my class named Ali who also did an octopus sketch. So the property manager asked us to combine and collaborate our octopus vibe into one. And so we knew that this was going to be displayed, done by a group of people who we didn't know, we didn't know the talent level, so we kind of came up with something that seemed organized for any group of people. We didn't know what to expect, so there was no extreme, you know, work being done with like blending anything like that. But yeah, presenting a sketch, trying our best to keep people in line with what we came up with, giving them some freedom as like the class kind of arranges to have done and then hoping for the best. This class is important because it gives you real world experience in the entire mural making process. Um, and honestly, it's just a different experience than you would get just sitting in a lecture class and taking notes all day. I think a class like this is really important because it allows us to be more ingrained in our community as artists. Um, and especially in Isla Vista, we have so much rich artwork already um, ingrained in this community that um, it's really exciting to have some of my own artwork displayed. Um, Alright, this class is important because uh, we're students that are contributing to uh, making the community more beautiful. Uh, we're putting a little bit of art up in the walls and I feel like everyone can appreciate looking up and seeing um, artwork. Uh, it's something that we can share with everyone. Uh, so it's cool. I think it's really important for us to be able to get our artwork out into the public and especially where we're from this town is full of artists uh, whether majors or not and we have so many blank walls the world is our blank canvas and especially with NIV I think it's really important to decorate it with all the kinds of ideas that we have it just it's so important to get our artwork out there and it's something that's going to last forever. People are going to drive by this mural in Tahitian, people are going to walk into the sushi restaurant and see the mural. It's just, I, I think it's great to, to keep this stuff alive and keep classes, really hands-on classes like this in the, in the program. I think a class like this is important because you're able to share your art with your community and people who aren't um, familiar with things like art galleries or going to openings, so you reach a whole different audience. I think a class like this is important not only because it helps uh, artists and students grow, but it also uh, provides something for the community and lifts up uh, the morale of people living around here. I think it's important because like um, people not just see the art in the exhibition or in, in the like the, the glass box. Yeah, they also want to like see some art in the public, like the this CBC, uh, this apartment and also like the something outside. The Associated Student Bike Shop, um, I work there on campus and I also have the pleasure of painting a mural with um, my good friend Madeline Winterick there right now. And um, so the AS Bike Shop is a um, 
nonprofit organization that is student funded on our campus. When it was first mentioned that we were going to do a mural there, I wanted to jump right on that. This mural, I think, really brings a certain brightness and positivity to the shop in the sense that um, it's a little random with different objects and very bright colors and we really painted it to try and um, bring you know, like a little ray of sunshine into the shop. Uh, all my best friends work there, I'm good friends with the manager that runs it. and. Um how did I help with the mural? Um, so this mural was actually started last quarter when I was not a part of this course. Um, and I had the opportunity to help out my good friend Madeline Winterick with the mural. Um, and so I have assisted her in the process of kind of recreating this image. Um, we were a little bit stuck in terms of our inspiration, um, but we just kept on pushing forward and I think we created something really beautiful. I just immediately was like, I want to create something awesome and cool artwork for these people because uh, they mean so much to me and that place means a lot to me. So we, uh, me and Alex just kind of jumped right on it and asked everyone what they want to see on the wall and they gave us a whole plethora of stuff so it just turned into this really crazy, colorful, fun picture. What did the mural do for the bike shop? Um, I believe that the mural has really um, created a homier sense, at least for me at the bike shop, um, because personally, um, I'm graduating this spring and I am just beyond excited about being able to really leave my mark on the shop. And um, I am very thankful that I was given this opportunity to be able to create within this place that I've worked for almost the past two years. that the mural class is outside the classroom because there's these set of expectations that go with being at a desk or in a chair and I think all that's thrown out when you're outside the classrooms. I think it's good the class meets outside of the classroom because you're able to kind of get out of the academic ivory tower in a sense. You're able to step out into the real world and, and see instead of a canvas in front of a still life in an art classroom, you're able to see a wall of a building as your canvas. I think this class gives the public a chance to see something outside not always we see the art in the exhibitions. I think it's good being outside because like as an artist, it's important to get out in the community and be in touch with them and like see who views you are and stuff like that. I think as artists, it's really important that we change up our environment every so often. I think uh, being in a program like UCSB, we have really great studios, but it's also important for us to get outside and get away from the kind of studio university setting and um, really showcase our work in the public. Um, and it's nice to be in the fresh air sometimes too and get to work around our town. This is our Ivy mural class working on the Hanamura Japanese restaurant mural. The Ivy mural class constructed the entire mural from bare minimum I materials. I was really interested in painting large scale works. It's like they used staple guns, they constructed the work, the, the stretcher bars in the wood shop of the art department. I just really enjoyed his teaching style. And we created the mural, which is four by 24 feet, over the course of three weeks. I took this class because I've already taken it before. These particular students then proceeded to walk the entire mural in three sections, a half a mile, from the art department in the atrium across campus into Isla Vista, and they did so with tremendous vigor, confidence, really and passion. On, like, details. I was support to these wonderful artists, and I learned from them as I saw that their teamwork element really came into fruition during this particular project, and people stood in awe, classmates, professors, 
as our exodus of art continued to just slither through the streets of Isla Vista. Our artwork was made on canvas. I've done some uh, minor like uh, mural work prior to this, so I kind of wanted to gain more experience. For this particular project, all the students in the Isla Vista mural class produced sketches of dragons and also other Japanese thematic schemes visually to then present to the owner of the Hanamura Japanese restaurant and one of the sketches was selected the student's name is Allison Chang was a very uh, driven student that I had the honor of working with and once the sketch was actually selected uh, we began to paint it onto these canvases that we handmade and very few revisions were to take place uh, Yung Fang, the owner of Hanamira, was a very friendly man that was very hospitable and really easy to work with. And he actually is a UCSB student, so it was nice to see a, a young student become a business owner and then give back to our community here in Isla Vista. Everything we did was done with care. Every staple, we had at any given moment three to four pairs of eyes looking and surveying what we were doing to make sure that the canvases were stretched tight. What was it like completing the mural during the Thomas fire? Well, I mean, we didn't have flames licking at our feet, but we had ash falling into our, our paint cups, and, and it was definitely difficult trying to finish up a mural and scheduling when there were evacuations and, and class on hold, and. I think it required a lot of, you know, sacrifice on, on people's parts to come in when you weren't required, you know, when, when evacuation notices were out, but we had a mural to finish, and so um, we, we did it anyway, and so I think it was a really interesting time to, to do art, especially with all of this soot in the air and it's kind of a funny sight scrambling to paint the mural sometimes with masks on um, it was a I'd say an adventure for sure the fire station mural the fire station mural was really fun because a you're surrounded by a bunch of firemen and you got to actually be inside of their home. And these people, you know, the uniforms, right, when they're just walking around, but to actually be in that community was so just insightful and kind of like a TV show. And it definitely feel like I contributed, obviously the sketch, you know, making those first marks and then you know, keeping people going, just, you know, passing off brushes and colors. And if I was done working on one part and I needed a break, I'd go tap someone in that, you know, wanted a break or that didn't want a break and wanted to keep painting and just kind of keeping it moving because I think we only had, what, three weeks for that mural? There was like no time for it, but we got it done. Two weeks, two weeks for that mural. Oh boy. Yeah, so <laughs> that one went by really fast and, you know, I definitely tried to be available outside of our four o'clock class time on Fridays just to help with it. Why did this fire department want to paint a mural in this firehouse? Um, I think the biggest reason was having a mural in our firehouse it really uh, gave us a lot more station pride for our station. We, we already show it with our fire engines. Uh, we, every day we make sure that they're um, clean, they're polished and all our equipment is, is checked and inspected so that it's ready to go and uh, to me it, it just shows a lot more 
a pride for all the firefighters here to, um, to have and to show. Uh, we wanted a mural here. Um, I think the fire service takes a lot of pride in everything that we do. Our equipment, um, our stations in particular. I mean, we live here um, for 10 days out of the month minimum. So we take a lot of pride in our equipment, a lot of pride in our station. And uh, this was just something that tied in our station together and it gave us a place to go. And um, the mural kind of has a little bit of historical value to this particular district in Isla Vista and uh, the community here as well as, as the firehouse. So um, it really tied our whole, whole backyard together and it, it uh, gives us just something else to show our pride in our station. How did I hear about the Isla Vista mural class? Uh, it's funny, we were coming back from a medical aid. Um, so we had a medical aid and IV and we were coming back, driving back. And we actually saw your class uh, painting a mural. I forget what street it was, but it was a, in the front of an apartment building. Uh, it was a two-star one. It was a, an ocean with mountains in the background. And it just looked beautiful. And, I, and we stopped to talk to you guys and just ask questions about what you guys were doing and uh, just to show our appreciation and our admiration of what you guys were doing. Uh, we heard about the class. Um, we didn't really hear about it. We just noticed a bunch of murals going up in Isla Vista. And uh, one day we were coming back to the station after an emergency response and we saw the mural class out doing some work and we thought, oh, let's pull over and, and check it out and see what they're doing and it looked like they were doing good work. And um, you know, one thing we really noticed uh, in the Isla Vista community was that the community really came together after um, some pretty traumatic events that a lot of communities don't have to deal with. And uh, we noticed that the mural class was just one of the many ways that the Isla Vista community came together and became more of a community probably than it has ever been. And uh, we pride ourselves in wanting to be a part of that community as well. And uh, so we stopped and kind of wanted to know what these guys were doing and saw them doing good stuff and started chatting them up. And um, one thing led to another. And next thing you know, we had this idea and the mural class came over and had the you know, kind of the same mindset we did, and um, they made it happen, really. It, it wasn't, it was just uh, us trying to be friendly and bridge the gap, and then the mural class really did all the work. They they came out here, and and we kind of had an idea of what we wanted to do, and they really made it happen, so. What imagery was painted on this firehouse? The imagery is actually really, really unique and really cool. Uh, that What was painted is uh, our fire engine over by Campus Point, and you can, they, the mural class actually did a really good job of painting a, uh, a wave kind of like in the lagoon area with a, with a, vaquero, a vaquero surfing on it. And to me it does a really good job of uh, bridging the gap between our fire station and Isla Vista because we are uh, uh, very community based and to me that's just like a, a very, very um, uh, awesome bridge that the mural class was able to portray on this mural. So the picture Behind you was a it was an actual uh, <clears throat> painting on a wall in a a sub shop in Isla Vista called Firehouse Subs and uh, my his history might be a little bit off but I don't remember exactly which building it was in but when the ownership new ownership took over they just painted over the the uh, painting that was on the wall so it kind of just went away and the only thing that we had left of that painting was a picture of the painting on a drywall wall. And uh, so we use that picture around our station as part of our, um, we have a little sheet that shows our daily duties and is just a reminder of what we're supposed to be keeping up on. And uh, that was really the only thing that we had of that picture. So when the mural class came over, we showed them that picture and they were more than happy to do it for us. So the, the picture on the wall is significant, not only to obviously the fire station, um, but UCSB campus and Isla Vista community. Okay. Yeah. How was it working for the mural class? Working for the mural class was great. Uh, they were here for a couple of days uh, for during the week, and uh, they were. It was a pleasure to work with them. They were worked so hard for hours just painting, and it was it was actually a a, a sight to see just watching them outline, then paint, and every person had their own specialized job going to each spot, each spot of the uh, mural. Uh, to me, it was, it was pretty fantastic to watch them work. Oh, the mural class was awesome to work with. Um, they came in and were super respectful to us. You know, this is our house. And uh, they came in here to our house and were super respectful um, 
they were easy to work with. We told them kind of an idea of what we wanted and anything that they were thinking, they made sure they ran a bias. Um, and they were all, they were all, obviously the work speaks for itself. The mural looks amazing. And uh, they always kept us in the loop on what was going on. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better group of people here um, to kind of share the experience with. And that's what it was. It was really an experience between the mural class and us. And, and we loved it. We had a great time with the people here. Um, that were doing the mural, and uh, they were really fun and awesome to work with. Would I work with the mural class again? Absolutely. I would work with the mural class anytime. Uh, it's too bad. I, don't, I wish I owned like a 100, 150 foot wall so they can keep painting on it. Uh, but it, it's, it was a pleasure. I would recommend it to anybody who has space for uh, a mural to be painted on. It, I, you won't have any regrets. You'd, you'd appreciate it. And, it would, whatever building you have, whatever business you have, whatever establishment you might have, I think it would offer you a sense of community and a sense of pride and then a sense of being able to help uh, a mural class just gain skills and experience. Uh, would I work with the mural class again? For sure. Um, we had a ton of fun. We were out here kind of watching them the whole time and um, made friends with everybody I mean hopefully in the future we can work with them again I, I don't know if there's anything else around here that we can do but we see them in the community all the time and uh, it would be a, an honor to have the the mural class do something for us again or um, if we obviously I don't know what we could ever do for the mural class um, from the fireside but yeah it would be we would for sure work with the mural class again great group of people obvious talent um, they did more for us than they could ever imagine So um, what is Hungry Woman? It's a um, play about a sort of Chicanismo uh, uprising uh, essentially in a dystopian world, a dystopian America. Um, it's, it has um, themes of um, homosexuality and about um, sort of coming into yourself, who you are as a person. It has love, it has war, it has all sorts of themes and essentially what the mural class is bringing to that is um, an artistic viewpoint. We get to um, incorporate our art with this play and we get to make this larger than life mural that uh, will hopefully add meaning and purpose um, to the play in an artistic and aesthetic viewpoint. So the Hungry Woman, um, there's a portion of us working um, on a mural kind of thing. It's like two murals for um, the play The Hungry Woman, um, which is going to be in the theater department. And currently we are working on designs kind of to tell the story of the play um, just by like straight away looking at the mural. Um, it's been a long process so far and we are only just getting started but it's really exciting and I'm excited to see how it turns out. The Hungry Woman is um, a play that the theater department at UCSB is going to put on and they've asked a portion of the mural class to come together, work on some sketches for the set design. Um, two panels that are going to be on the side of the set and we get to kind of research and like delve into the play and kind of see what the play is all about and um, you know the history and like what really makes it unique from other plays and we're going to be coming up with the signs and submitting the designs getting critique and then eventually laying it all out there on the boards and getting it ready for production. I would definitely take this class again I know it's offered next quarter and I'm probably gonna add that to my schedule <laughs> because um, I had so much fun this quarter and um, hopefully we'll do another big mural like this and um, I'm really excited. Cool. Yeah, I, definitely I will because <laughs> okay. I think I pretty enjoy this class. Sure, I really recommend. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, uh, even my roommate, he was asking about this class because he was interested in this class but he's not an artist uh, himself, or I guess he, he dabbles, but um, 
But I don't know, he was really interested in this class when I was telling him about it, but he's a bio major, so. Yeah, I would recommend it if you want to, if you have a vision, you know, a blank wall somewhere around this place you live and you want to go get your artwork up on it, it's a great opportunity to take charge of a project and just get out there and paint. What would I tell a young, inspiring muralist? I would, I would tell a young muralist to just really go for it, you know, make a plan of what you want to do, get your supplies and just slap paint on the wall because how else are you going to make something? Um, don't worry about other people's critiques. It's, what matters is your artwork, your vision, and how you pull it together. And in the end, you're going to have something that you're going to be really proud of. You're going to bring friends and family and anyone else saying, look, there is my artwork. There is a piece that I helped create and it's bringing joy to other people. Um, it's honestly such a great feeling to be able to have something that's a little bit lasting. I would say um, to any young, inspiring muralist uh, to get their hands on a lot of projects, to do projects they think that they aren't able to do, to push and to keep reaching out to just kind of go for it. Trust yourself. Um, if you mess up, you can cover it. Don't be intimidated by a wall. It's just a large scale. It's nothing different than correcting or making alterations to anything similar and to have fun with it. Um, I enjoy um, freehanding on a wall and I think that that's an amazing, beautiful thing that everyone should experience and just go for it. Any advice or anything that I would tell someone who's maybe interested in doing this as well is go for it. Um, it's an amazing process. It's so much fun just to be able to, you know, slap paint on the wall like I did when I was younger or at least wanted to. <laughs> I would say Number one, find a place and get permission. Number two, I guess create a very simplified version of your vision first. A simplified version of your vision so you can kind of make adjustments and add more details along the way. Get a team to help you because um, I don't know if you can see this is a lot, like a really big task and having people that are on the same page as you alongside you makes it a lot easier and um, seems a lot more of like of a tangible idea to have. Um, and yeah, make sure you're getting the right supplies. Obviously you don't be using tempera on, on walls and things like that and just, yeah, I think those are some starting points I would give. I think I would tell a young aspiring muralist that you have one of the most exciting canvases. It's always awesome being taught by a practicing artist. Well, when you get a wall, because it can be rare, sometimes you just have to, I guess, give it your best and give it, you know, give it your all so it can be really great. I think muralism is a renegade art form. You're able to paint whatever you want on whatever canvas you want. And I think, I mean, don't tell Andrew, but the class inspired me a bit to do some renegade art painting of my own. And it's really special to be able to see a little doodle of yours or a little message of yours on the street or on the sidewalk. So um, I think something that I just learn pretty like off the bat is it's um, a lot harder than you think it might be to work with a large group of people because everyone wants to take a paintbrush and add something to a wall so I think it's important to just delegate and to really assign roles but also let everyone's voice be heard in like a democratic sense so um, another thing too would be to just not care so much about wanting it to be perfect, it's important to just like get paint on the wall and get it going because it'll end up turning out how you want it to be in the end.